if you're working on a parameterized build on Jenkins and you want to add parameters to it and you're finding it difficult to add the parameters like this one we have one parameter in this job but if you want to add let's say 100 uh, or, or some more parameters to this job and you're finding it very difficult to add them one by one that parameter may be a string type or a choice or any any other type of uh, parameter what you need to do is you need to go to uh, the Jenkins folder in your uh, um, uh, system and uh, you can open the configuration file of that uh, job here you will see two tags um, inside uh, the parameter definition you will find a uh, certain piece of uh, lines uh, which are for one parameter that I've already added in this particular job what you need to do is you just need to replicate this over uh, and again for multiple parameters so for example if I just copy and paste it here inside the parameter definition and I change the name and the default value of it uh, and save it and if I go back to Jenkins by simply refreshing you won't see any change you need to actually restart the Jenkins if you are launching the Jenkins using command line you can uh, relaunch it and if you are using a Windows service then you need to restart the Windows service so now I am uh, restarting it as a Jenkins restart uh, you will soon see uh, two parameters added in the job and here we are so the two parameters are added so similarly if you want to add uh, multiple parameters either you need to copy and paste uh, over and again like this or you can write a simple macro in excel so what you can do is you can create a sub procedure and here you can iterate for uh, let's say uh, the number of uh, records in the excel sheet so i have two uh, columns a and b a column holds the key and b column holds the default value so I'm iterating it from row number two till the last row which is having data. So sheet one uh, cells row count comma one, which takes me to the last cell of uh, first column, and then I come back uh, uh, on the upper side using end dot excel up, and I'm taking the row number of it. So that means the ninth row according to this particular uh, sheet. So it will be running from two to nine, and what I need to do is I need to print on console debug dot print all the lines of it so I'm just copying and pasting it here uh, debug dot print so first line similarly I can add the other lines and whatever I want to make uh, parameterized I can make uh, parameterized so you can see here uh, I've removed the uh, the name and I'm picking it from the cell and I'm picking it dynamically from uh, row number I and column 1 similarly I'll do this uh, for, for the default value as well now once we do this we are ready and uh, we can open the immediate window to see uh, the console and then if we uh, run this piece of code uh, you will see it, uh, it has generated the code but uh, you won't see any uh, line breaks in between so better you put one line break to see uh, each block separately so I'm adding a blank line now you can see every block uh, is a separate entity so you can copy and paste it inside the parameter definition in Jenkins job and then you can uh, and then you can restart the Jenkins you will see uh, all the parameters immediately so that's how we can add parameters to multiple builds and if you have lots of parameters to add this will make it easy to add parameters for you so you can see we have restarted the Jenkins and uh, you can see the parameters are added here. So if you want more such tips, stay connected to Extreme Excel. Thank you for watching this video.